dear students welcome again to the demonstration of stomach with the help of department of anatomy pedio medical college rajkot stomach is a muscular structure almost 25 cm long it has cardiac and pyloric and lesser curvature and greater curvature anterior surface and posterior surface stomach is divided basically in two parts if we make an imaginary vertical plane from the most dependent part of lesser curvature which reach to the greater curvature and an another horizontal plane from the cardiac and of stomach the part right to this vertical line is known as pyloric part of the stomach the part left side to this vertical line is known as cardiac part of the stomach cardiac part can be further subdivided in a fundus part which is above this horizontal line generally fundus part contains air which is visible below the left dome of diaphragm and it is convex or dome shaped structure the remaining part is known as body of the stomach which is between the horizontal and the vertical line of the stomach the part distal to the vertical line is known as pyloric part of the stomach which is further subdivided into pyloric antrum and pyloric canal that part is better visible in another specimen let me show you the second specimen this is the most dependent part of lesser curvature which is known as incisura angularis we imagine a vertical line here the part distal to this vertical line is pyloric part of the stomach this part is pyloric antrum which is almost 7.5 cm long which can be differentiated from pyloric canal by the sulcus intermedius so the part proximal to this sulcus intermedius is pyloric antrum and this part distal to the sulcus intermedius is pyloric canal we discussed about the pyloric part of the stomach just before few moments i mentioned stomach has two end one is the cardiac end and second is the pyloric end the cardiac orifice or cardiac end is a continuation of esophagus and makes a gastroesophageal junction which is a physiological sphincter on the posterior surface of the cardiac end peritoneum is not attached that is also known as bare area of stomach just to differentiate the pyloric part and the pyloric sphincter we can identify the pyloric sphincter by a circular muscular knot which can be palpated like a thick nodular structure this is the pyloric sphincter or the pyloric end of the stomach this is the lesser curvature of the stomach which forms the right border it is concave in shape that extends from cardiac end to the pyloric end it gives attachment to the lesser omentum which contains anastomosis of the left gastric artery and 
right gastric artery. One layer of the lesser omentum runs on the anterior surface of the stomach and second layer runs on the posterior surface of the stomach. This is the greater curvature of the stomach which forms the left border extending from cardiac end forming cardiac notch dome of the fundus of stomach border of pyloric antrum up to the pyloric sphincter it gives attachment to gastrophrenic ligament near the cardiac end gastrosplenic ligament at the fundus of the stomach and greater romentum at remaining part. It is almost 4 to 5 times larger than the lesser curvature. Between the two layers of greater romentum there remains a anastomosis of lap and right gastroepiploic artery. If you are asked to hold stomach in anatomical position, the cardiac end lies at the level of 11th thoracic vertebra behind the 7th coastal cartilage 2.5 cm left to 7th coastal cartilage junction with the sternum. The pyloric end, which is muscular, is at the level of lower border of first lumbar vertebra, 1.5 cm right to the median plane. The lesser curvature or this concave border lying towards the right side and greater curvature or convex border lying towards the left side. It is oriented in such a manner that the anterior surface is directed anterosuperiorly and posterior surface is directed postero-inferiorly. This is another specimen. We have cut it at lesser curvature. Let's see how it looks from the internal side. We can see this mucosal elevations which are known as gastric rugae. If we see carefully and closely, we can see the gastric pits also. The gastric rugae is due to the loosely attached mucosa to the deeper structure. Here you can see gastric rugae extending from cardiac end to the pyloric end parallel to the lesser curvature. This is known as gastric gutter or megastrace. This area is more vulnerable to the fluid drunk by the person like tea, coffee or cold drinks that can injure this mucosa. That's why Gastric ulcer are common at gastric gutter or megastrace. In today's demonstration, we discussed about external features, identification of cardiac and, and pyloric and, lesser curvature, greater curvature, gastric rugae, and megastrace, as well anatomical position of stomach. Blood supply, nerve supply, lymphatic drainage, etc. Theoretical point can be better understand in theory.